really fun and colorful tips to elevate your next dinner party. Let's get started with our paint drop cloth tablecloth. So we went out and purchased a literal drop cloth that you use to paint your home. You wanna make sure your drop cloth is even on both sides as well as front and back. Once it's out on the table, we're gonna go ahead and use our painter's tape. Remember, the parts of the tape that you put down are the parts that are not covered in paint. So with our pattern, I'm doing a beautiful stripe just down the center. So I'm just gonna take the tape and lay it right down the middle. A beautiful pattern. All right, I'm gonna start with this paint here and we're just gonna dabble it right on the cloth, right down the middle. We're going every fourth one. One, two, three, and four. Great, and now I'm gonna do my next color. So a slight purple darker. And you just follow after the first one. And then our next one, one shade a little bit darker. And our last and final color, our dark purple. So color by color, just slowly spread the paint. You wanna get a nice even coat, but you do have your tape to protect you. And because it's canvas, it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of paint. It's a thicker fabric, so don't be afraid to dabble it on there before you smooth it out, just to get the most of your paint. One, two, three, four. And the counting is so helpful for me because while the colors are different, they are very similar. So all my light purple is done, and we're gonna move on to the second one. Okay, that looks great. Let's begin with our third color. And our final color, dark purple. So now that all my colors are done, you're gonna let this sit and dry. All right, now that we are all dry, we're gonna go ahead and remove the paint tape so that we can reveal our beautiful pattern. I'm gonna start right from the center, come right straight up and right into my trash can. All right, one more. There she is. A beautiful pattern. The great thing here is you can pick any colors to paint. Whatever makes you happy, put it on the canvas. All right, I'm so excited to show you how to make confetti place cards. So we're gonna start with writing the names. And I'm gonna write down the names of my friends that are coming to my dinner party. All right, so I did purple as my base. And then I'm gonna go into some green and have some fun dot work. And now we go ahead and fill our bags. So I'm gonna start with my tissue paper confetti, which you can make or purchase. And I'm just gonna get it going in there. Throw in my sparkle, lay it out, shake it up, and then you're just gonna fold it over, tape it on the back, put the sticker right on top, and there we go. Super fun confetti name cards. For our dinner party centerpieces, we are mixing fresh flowers and fresh vegetables. We are gonna get started building our beautiful onion piece. I'm basically going to surround it all the way, and then we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to tie it gently as a placeholder so that we can then stuff the rest of the onion in the ribbon. All right, now that we have our beautiful green onion base, we are going to pick from all of the flowers that we found and build upwards. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and place. It looks beautiful. Every dinner party needs a fun napkin fold. So you start with a beautiful napkin. We're gonna fold up along the crease, and then we're gonna fold right on over. Take the top left corner, bring it down to the bottom right corner. We're gonna pinch the corner where the party is happening, flip it over, and then we start with the right side. We fold a third of the way, and then we fold one more time, and then we're gonna stuff our beautiful cutlery right in. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Now that all of our individual pieces are done, it is time to put it all together. I had so much fun sharing all of these fun and colorful tips for a beautiful dinner party in your home. Don't forget, be creative, be festive, trust your instincts, and have fun.